Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and this is episode number 104. Hey guys, welcome back. I got a few things to share with you today, and uh, some finished objects, some whips, a new pattern, uh, some bags up in the shop, all kinds of stuff to talk about, some Happy Mail, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, would, I do want to point out real fast these cards hanging back here. I got these Valentine's Day cards. I think I've already shown one of them. But I did want to go ahead and talk about them real fast and show them because I already hung them up and I forgot to show them some of them first. <laughs> the bottom one is from Phyllis. This one is from Crystal at Chronically Crocheting. And then I got one up here from Summer. Oh gosh. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I, for, I wasn't thinking when I hung them up and I went ahead and hung them up without saving them to show. But I did get two more around her somewhere here there and I want to share them real fast just so I can put them up and then I will hop into the rest of the stuff so this one is from Nikki really cute my eyes are hurting I just took my glasses off and they're like adjusting <laughs> but this is from Nikki so thank you and then this other one <laughs> this is from Marsha from made by Marsha mom and she put more of the little she she sent Christmas cards too so there's her Valentine's Day card and it's got um little heart confettis in there <laughs> that I didn't spill all over the place and she also sent me a tea which is orange passion fruit jasmine so thank you Marsha <laughs> I didn't get it I just uh forgot to share it earlier or whatever I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the crochet stuff I do have some more mail that I'll show you I just wanted to show you those cards real fast since I, or I was already talking about cards but I'm actually going to show you my whip first this week instead of finished objects because one of my finished objects is my new pattern that I, I wrote and is going to be open or up in the Etsy shop today. By the time you're seeing this video, it'll be available. So I'm going to show you my whip first because I only have one whip and uh, get it out of the way. And it's just a granny shawl. So I don't have a pattern I'm actually using. It's just a granny stitch. And if you're interested in this pattern enough to want it, um, you can just go into any of the pattern websites or Google and uh, look up granny, crochet granny shawl and it should bring it up. This is the one I'm working on now. I just finished one in January for myself, which is somewhere. I had it. <laughs> it's laying on here somewhere. So I, I did want, I have a bunch of cake yarns that I want to use up and I'm going to make a bunch of granny shawls and maybe some lap cans to donate to my local uh, nursing home. And uh, so this is the next one. This is made with a Karen cake, but I don't know what it's called. I know it's a Karen big cake. Um, someone gifted it to me, but I lost the ball band. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. But it's browns and grays. Really pretty. And uh, I'm going to use this whole cake up, this whole ball now. I rolled it into balls so it's easier for me to mess with. But yeah, so I'm getting there. It's that big. Right now. It's really pretty. So that's my only active whip right now, is that shawl. I'm just using an H hook, I think. Yeah, I think it's, no, it's a J hook. Living in my heart bag I made a while ago. But yeah, so that's my only active whip. I do have a bunch of finished objects, but a lot of them are the same thing over and over and over again. So I'll hop into my finished objects. This first glob of objects <laughs> is a free pattern on Miss Niss Designs, it'll be linked below, and it's a daffodil. Um, this March, March 21st actually, me and Devin and Jesse, or me and my mom and Jesse, if Devin has to work, <laughs> we're going to a daffodil festival in Bell Buckle, Tennessee, which is relatively close to us. It's like an hour away, um, but it's just a daffodil festival. I love daffodils or buttercups, whatever you call them, <laughs> and um, so I thought it'd be cool to make a bunch of them and give them out to people there either like the vendors or just people walking around, I don't know. So I started making some. So there's one, two, let's see here. I think I made quite a few this color because these are my favorite daffodils, is the bright orange and yellow ones. So there's, what, eight of them? Seven. Seven yellow and orange ones. And then I made three orange and white ones. <laughs> and then I made this one that's two shades of yellow. And then I made these two that are yellow and white so I don't know how many that is all together I didn't count <laughs> there's a bunch of them <laughs> I plan on making a ton of them and uh, someone it slipped my mind 
Anna? I think it maybe was Anna from Adventures of Anna. She said that I could put safety pins on the back so that people could pin them to their clothes or backpack or whatever that day. So I think I might do that. And then people can pin it to stuff if they want. Or they can just, you know, have a little flower to take with them. But these work up super duper fast. I have the pattern embedded in my brain <laughs> from the night of making these. Because I made these over two nights. And I was watching an ID channel show. I love true crime, by the way. But, <laughs> and I was just popping these out. What I did is I made a bunch of these. I had a scrap orange ball. So I used all of it to make a bunch of the middle parts. And then I just added uh, the petals on after. And there's no sewing. This is, you make them separate, but you crochet them together. The only sewing you have to do is the two ends from the two different pieces. Unless you have a ball that runs out of yarn or a knot in it. <laughs> one of these, one of the white ones, I can't remember which one, but it had like eight ends because I was using a scrap ball of white that ran out. So I attached another one and then that one had like three knots in it. <laughs> so I had so many ends, but I got them all woven in and I got all these done and I'm just going to keep making them randomly up until the festival. So I have a whole month and like three weeks a month and a three weeks <laughs> to make a bunch of these i'm just gonna make a whole bunch of them and take them with me what i think i might do is depending on what i'm wearing that day like if i take a backpack which is usually what i carry when we go to stuff like that to carry my wallet and keys and stuff in and stuff for jesse i will probably pin a bunch of them all over my backpack <laughs> and uh, maybe even on my shirt and stuff and then i'll carry some and then i can just randomly give them out to people and what i was thinking is uh with the safety pin on the back i was just gonna um lace one of my business cards on all of them <laughs> so that I could maybe get some sales or something but also just give people flowers because they're cute and easy and these are all scrap I believe it's all um, red heart some of the white is Karen one pound but it's all red heart uh, pumpkin white bright yellow pale yellow I think that's all the colors I just kind of mixed them all up what I did is I saved a photo on my phone of a big bunch like a field of daffodils and I'm just going off of their colors so, you know, there's some that's these, all these different colors together in that one picture. So I'm just kind of making all of them. But I thought that was cute and they're super fast and it's using up scraps. So, woo! -hoo! They're so cute. <laughs> my next finished object actually is a long-term whip that's been hibernating and it's on my goals this year to get finished. And I was, I had intended to do it. I sat down and I made one of the squares. I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> it felt forced. And then when I got that finished, I went to look at the next square and I didn't want to make that one at all. Like I just didn't want to do it. I wasn't interested. So instead of continuing to make it, I decided to go ahead and end that hibernating whip. And it was the Unraveled Mitten 2019 Scrap Buster Crochet Along thing. And she, what she did is every two weeks, I think, or every other week, she put out a uh, square pattern. So there was, how many? 24, I think, maybe, um, throughout the whole year last year. So I did end up making 12. I think <laughs> all together I actually made 13 but I found one that I, I forgot I had so uh, and I already had this blanket done so I went ahead and just ripped that one out <laughs> and uh, frogged it but so this is their squares I think it's 1 through 12 and then it's number 13 there's 1 through 11 and then number 13 because the 12th one's the one I forgot that I made already so here it is I'm not sure I got it facing the right way yeah let's turn around this way <laughs> So there's three and then six squares, nine and 12. All bright colors. I love it. <laughs> They're all made from mostly scrap balls. And uh, the blanket would have been way bigger if I'd finished all the squares, but I, I just didn't, wasn't feeling it. So I didn't want to force it. So I just went with what I had. <laughs> I went ahead and just, I made, I put them together in rows of three and then I sewed those together into a stack of four. And what I did to sew them together is I just, um, what's it called, whip stitched them. And I did it in colors that would show. Like, you know, there's orange and yellow. And then this row somewhere, there's pink and blue. I sewed them together where it would show because I thought it would be cool to see the contrasting colors. Since it's such a scrappy bright blanket, I wanted that part to be scrappy and bright too. So, see, you can see the yellow and green and orange and all that. So, I thought that was neat. And then for the border, I just did a row, I think half double crochet, green and yellow. That's all I did. Nothing fancy. I increased in the corners so that it would turn. <laughs> but, yeah, so this is just my little lap again. It's bright. It's real floppy because I already washed it. <laughs> I actually washed it twice because I washed it to see how soft it would get, and it got pretty soft. And I've been using it, and then Jesse accidentally spilled some drink on it, so I had to wash it again. But, um, so it's been through two washings and dryings. I don't make anything that I can't dry in the dryer. 
because I don't have time for all that fancy stuff. But I love it. It's super bright and colorful and um, I love bright colors. So this is perfect. I'm going to keep it. At first I thought I was going to donate it or give it to somebody. But uh, I just decided to keep it. I've been using it in the living room. When I get kind of chilly, I just drape it over my legs and I'm toasty. So yeah, so that's my finished, I guess halfway finished, unraveled mitten blanket. But it, it made a whole lap blanket. <laughs> so now that's going to be knocked off by my 2020 finish goals <laughs> is this blanket. So now the only blanket I have currently going that I need to finish is the Jaden Stitches um, 2019 folk art blanket. So I gotta get that done. And it's actually almost done. I'm only a little behind on that. So that's gonna be the next thing I start working on blanket wise. And then I can finally start some of those squares in that book that I got. <laughs> but yeah, I love this blanket. I think it's so cute. I'm trying to hold it up. I'm trying to get a thumbnail. <laughs> Alright, so those are all of my random finished objects. Let me move all these flowers over there. Now this next finished object is actually a pattern that I wrote and is released today. Uh, you'll be able to buy it if you're interested right now by the time you see this video and it's a jar cozy it's a mason jar cozy or ball <laughs> which whichever brand you buy it's quart jar cozy and I have two of them here because I made it first and then I made it again to test my pattern and then there will be a third one <laughs> in uh, probably a week because I'm gonna make a video tutorial for it so there will be a free video tutorial for this pattern in probably a week and a half to two weeks whenever I get it filmed and edited and uploaded but there will also be a paid PDF uh, available today and forever <laughs> for as long as I upload it. But here it is. Are y'all ready? Ta-da! <laughs> it's so cute. These flowers and this bow is from the Dollar Tree and there is a jar under there. So it's just a cozy. I made it in spring green and white. I actually ran out of spring green up here. The little scrap ball I had so I just finished it with white but it's in the back so it doesn't matter. And then the little uh, leprechaun applique. And his eyes are stitched on, but some of my testers use safety eyes, and it's in the pattern that you can use stitched on or safety eyes. And the, the ones with safety eyes are so much cuter. So when I make the video tutorial, I'm going to use safety eyes, and then you can see my version with safety eyes and without. But I also have a picture, I'll pop it up real fast, of one of my pattern testers. And this is the one she made, and uh, she used safety eyes, and it was just so cute. And my pastor, pa pastor <laughs> pattern testers this time, I had three of them. They were all great, and they all finished it super quick and gave me awesome feedback <laughs> so uh, I appreciate testers there's their big help when pattern designing but anyways all this is is applique sewed onto the jar cozy the applique is made into in a few different pieces the face and beard are connected the nose the eyes and the hat are separate you have to sew them on and the mouth is stitched on and then like I said I stitched the eyes on or you can use the little safety eyes and then you just sew after you sew them all together you then sew it onto the jar cozy and this is a super quick make. Like you can make the applique and the jar cozy probably in a couple of hours. Maybe less than that if you're a fast crocheter. Um, and sewing it on is easy. I, I just, when you make it, you just leave the ends and sew it right on there. And uh, I found it the easiest to leave it on the jar when you sew it on. Because it gives you something hard, you know, to like bounce off of to come back through. If that makes sense. But yeah, so this is just like a bow tie in the Dollar Tree. Um, in the front section where they keep all their themed holiday stuff. I think it's just for your neck, you know, bow tie. So all I did was I just tied it on there. There's a piece of elastic back here I need to trim off. But I just thought that was cute and added some glitter. And these are three of the little bunches of holiday themed flowers. There's two with these coins and then I got one with the shamrocks. And I just got them on there and I think they're cute. I think it's cute. It's so cute. I love it. But yeah, so I did make two. Here's my other one. <laughs> uh, this was the first one I made. His eyes look better. This one's eyes look weird, but he was the one I made when I was taking pictures for the pattern, <laughs> the uh, PDF. So this is the first one I made. And then there will be another one soon when I make the video tutorial and it will have safety eyes because I'm gonna, you know, use safety eyes for that. So I have one and then I'll have two other ones. <laughs> so I'll either give them to somebody. Uh, maybe my sister will want one. I don't know. And maybe one of you guys might want one. I don't know. But I'll have another one. <laughs> and I think that is so cute. And I, I would like to make more um, jar cozies in the future. Who knows? I just wanted something St. Patrick's day -y, since it's almost time to decorate for that. <laughs> After Valentine's Day, I will be taking down all my Valentine's stuff and putting up my St. Patrick's Day stuff. So, yeah. I can set him on my sound bar, which is where my Valentine's one is right now. So, yeah. That's my new pattern. It's available in my Etsy shop right now. 
if you want to go check it out. And like I said, in uh, anywhere from a week to two weeks from now, there will be a free video tutorial here on the YouTube channel. After I get a chance to film it and edit it, uh, it'll be up. All right, so that is all my crochet stuff, all the whips and finished objects. And I do have a few more Happy Meals that I want to share with you guys. First, I got this um, this card from someone. I just thought it was cute. <laughs> so this is actually for someone that I made a bag for. And uh, so she sent me this card, and it's so cute. <laughs> but then I got this awesome Happy Meal here. I got this a few a while ago, but it's been a while since I recorded. Good laugh. But this is from Lynn in New Jersey. She has really pretty penmanship. But she sent me these really awesome, she sent me a really awesome thing. Okay, first, let's see, that's separate. Let me get her letter. She watched one of my videos, the one where I shared all the Valentine's patterns. It's like a roundup. And this was on there. And what she did is she made three of them and sent it to me. Um, I don't like working with thread. <laughs> and so she made these for me and sent them to me. They're not blocked. She told me I could block them. And I do intend to block them as soon as I figure out how to do it the right way. I've blocked once before. But I got to get some blocking pads or something. Some foam pads. But anyways, I'm going to show them as best as I can. But like I said, they're not blocked. So they're, you can't see the detail amazingly. But they're little heart doilies. I can't remember if she says the pattern. Let me look. I don't know. It's on that video. I'll refer you to that video. <laughs> but this one is just a solid red. And there are little hearts up here. So she made me that red one. And then she made me two like this. And it's sparkly white. I don't know if you can see the sparkles. But it is sparkly. So I got two of those. This is absolutely perfect <laughs> because I once I get them blocked, I can set them white one, red one, white one on my shelf in the living room. And uh, the red one is where my bouquet of flowers <laughs> will be setting next year for Valentine's Day. So it's kind of like a table runner, but they're separate pieces. But I just got to get them blocked and I appreciate this so much. They're so beautiful because I did love this pattern, but I probably would have never made it myself because I'm not good at working with little threads and little hooks. So I do appreciate this so much, Lynn. Thank you so much for sending these to me. She also sent me a little bit of extra thread, I guess, in case I needed it um, to do anything with them. Yeah, let me move this out of the way. Show that. And then I also got this postcard from Erica in New Jersey also. <laughs> I wonder how close y'all are together. Let me show it the right way. It's this way. Really cute. It's uh, plants, which I love. I love plants, indoor plants, outdoor plants. I also got a big Happy Meal that I got today. I'm not going to show all of it because it's just fabric. So you'll see it eventually in bags, more than likely. But I will show like some of it in globs, I guess. Oh gosh, it's a big old box. It's from Billy, the Crafty Floridian. She said in one of her videos that she was going to send, she had some fabric she was going to send me. And this is it. Thank you so much, Billy. She sent me one of her um, postcards, which she made. This is a painting she actually painted. But it's, uh, she made it into postcards. So some people's been getting them. She also made some cups, I think. She drinks out of one every now and then. But it's really cool that it's a painting she actually painted. It's just postcard form. <laughs> form. Oh, I can't speak. But she's in a bunch of fabric. Like, it's really heavy. Oh, gosh. It's a bunch of fabric. Oh, it's so heavy. And it's a lot of big pieces. So there'll be a lot of bags being made out of this stuff. And there's also some in here that I like. <laughs> and some that I can make stuff for Jesse with. This one I really like. It's like under the sea. And there's a cute one with frogs. And there's a couple Americana ones. There's a Walking Dead one down in here that I'm going to make a bag for myself out of. And then there's these teacups. I've had this before. And um, cute little monkeys. What else is down here? There's a Pirates of a Car the Caribbean one down in there. A Paris print. There's some Cars ones that I thought I'd make something for Jesse out of. And look at these little dogs with, oh, they're upside down, <laughs> with glasses on. And this is another one that I could make something for Jesse out of. It's just like a boy themed words. <laughs> An Easter print. And there's some Christmas prints in here that would be great for next year. Uh, liners or even some outers. And this is like a good boy camouflage with skulls. And this is another one I thought I could make something with Jesse, for Jesse out of. Tonka trucks. What I'd like to make is him is try to find a pattern for him a little bag or something to carry his toys in when he's gone to like my mom's or something. And then here's some Christmas prints. What else is down here? Oh yeah, here's the Walking Dead one. It's just the zombies. 
I'm gonna make me a bag out of that. <laughs> I love The Walking Dead. It's one of my favorite shows. I cannot wait till the new season comes out. But yeah. So that's a big old box from Billy. So thank you, Billy, so much if you're watching this. And uh, I appreciate it because it's gonna, you know, it's cool that, that I have some fabrics that I like and that I can make something for Destiny with, but it also helps the, uh, the whole family out because we I can make bags out of this to sell and um, make money for our family. So it's just, you know, it's cool when people send me fabric. Um, just being nice to me, you know, and it keeps me from having to go spend a lot of money buying fabric to make bags with, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, the only other Happy Meal I got was I did get some more zippers. <laughs> I needed some more of those. I was almost out. This last bag, bag update is, um, took almost all my zippers. And then I did get a bunch of coupons from Joann's. Um, they're having, I think, a President's Day sale or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, I got a whole bunch of coupons, so that's cool. I'll probably use some of those. All right, that's everything, except bags. <laughs> That box is heavy. All right, I got some bags here I'm just gonna hold up real fast and show you. These are in the shop right now as of uh, me recording this. Actually, as soon as I get done recording this and start editing it, I will post the bags up. So by the time you see this video, they should all be active. But this this one here is bigger than I normally make. It is 13 inches wide, but it's 22 inches long. <laughs> it's really long. I only had a little bit of this material, so I just tried to use up as much as I could. So it's a big bird print. It's got a bunch of birds on it. And um, it's long, so if you wanted to make like an afghan or maybe a big sweater, it would fit in here. It's just longer. It does have a Notions pouch. All of them have Notions pouches this time except one. Okay, this is my personal favorite bag. <laughs> this update. It's just cute, and I love the colors of it. But it's just black and white little cows. And then the inside is green, so it looks like grass. Some of the bags have inside labels because I ran out of the outside labels. <laughs> But they all have labels this time. There's two of these sets, and they do have Notion pouches. And then there's two succulent sets. There are four of these. It's like um, flower seed packets, and they're all sets, so they have Notion pouches with them. There's two of these ones. There's seashells with Notion pouches. Two of this one, which is Friends themed, the TV show, <laughs> with Notion pouches. And then there's two sets of Snoopy. Love Snoopy. There are two sets of this one, chickens. I love the colors of this. It's just really bright and pretty. There's one set of this, Mickey Mouse. There are three sets of this print. It is the coffee houses, coffee stores, coffee shops. <laughs> I showed it uh, recently, but there's three sets of this in the shop. And then this set, there are two full sets, two with bags and little bags. And then there's one just the, ba the big bag. I didn't have enough material to make another Notion pouch. But Jack and Sally, this is another one with the inside label because uh, I ran out of outside labels. I think there are six of them. But yeah, so that's all the bags that's in the shop right now. If you want to go check them out, they're in there. And yeah, I think that's everything. I will have a video coming out later this week for county fair uh, prepping because I've started doing that now. <laughs> uh, it's, you know, it's going to be here before I know it. This year is already flying by like crazy. I can't believe it's already February. It's the beginning of the second week of February, which is crazy. So I need to get on top of my crafts and get some stuff ready for the craft fair, or I won't have a lot of stuff to enter. So I got to do that. But yeah, I'm sorry this episode's a little late. I just got busy last week. And then this weekend, I did intend to sew and record, but we ended up taking a spur of the moment <laughs> a road trip down to Georgia. It was about four hours drive and we went to see the whistle stop cafe which is from the movie slash book fried green tomatoes it was the actual one in the movie that they recorded at so uh we took my mom down there because me and my mom are both huge fans of that movie <laughs> and uh it was a lot of fun to see the actual cafe and we ate there and it was just really cool and um I loved it, but yeah, there's actually a vlog going to be coming up on the other channel, No Kitchen Name Life, of that day, so if you want to check out, check out that channel, its link is in the description, and that video will be up in the next couple of days, uh, I haven't actually edited it yet, <laughs> but I have it recorded, <laughs> but yeah, so I guess that's everything, I'm gonna hop off here so I can get this video up, and get the Etsy shop updated, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye guys.